It's nearly half past seven on the 15th of December 2022. Tonight, we're at Gillingham to see one of the rarer southeastern ghost trains that operates in the county. The whole idea behind a parliamentary train, or ghost train as it is known as, is to keep a line open or in management of a specific station. In this case, it is southeastern keeping the rights to maintaining Heim Station, situated between Strood and Gravesend. Over the past year, Thameslink have been the only operator stopping at Higham, but as of the 11th of December 2022, South East have implemented a ghost train service that stops there at 7.09 every weekday. The service has been put in place because of British Rail law, usually maintained by the local council. South Eastern have been told to run at least a frequent service to keep management of Higham. If they fail to do this, Hyam will have a transferred ownership to Govia Thameslink Railway, or GTR for short. All train companies avoid management changes because this costs more in legalities to close a line or change ownership than just running a minimal train service. The ghost train route begins at London Charing Cross, then London Waterloo East, London Bridge, Hither Green, Lee, Mottingham, New Eltham, Sidcup, Albany Park, Bexley, Crayford, Dartford, Greenhithe, Gravesend, Higham, Strood, Rochester, Chatham, and terminates at Gillingham. The train is usually formed of eight coaches, however, this may vary depending on the allocations available. After the ghost train arrives at Gillingham, the doors are manually locked one by one and then is promptly placed in Gillingham Depot, where the unit will stay overnight, ready for its use the following morning for a different route. It's just gone 7 o'clock and I'm at Higham, awaiting for the 1909 service to Gillingham. However, it is delayed due to a power failure early that day. Today, the ghost train is a class 465 formed of 10 coaches. Upon the train's arrival, there are two people on the platform along with me. I boarded to the front of the train and, as I expected, I had the entire carriage to myself. While on board the train, barely anyone got on or off. However, there were two men that got on the train at Strood with bikes. This adds the passengers to just six, including the driver. While on board the ghost train, there wasn't that much to offer other than just the unique smell of London trains. As this train was late by about 10 minutes, it didn't stay long at many stations.
Thameslink have operated a service at home since May 2018, bringing over 95,000 new passengers at the station. This year, there has been three recorded in-station interchanges, whereas Southeastern have had no trains since May 2018, but have changed that since December 2022. The service is too new to know how many passengers this has brought the station, and it is impossible to make an operator-to-operator in-station interchange as there are only one per day. So in summary, that's the ghost train. A singular service that stops at Higham, which borders on one of the least used stations in Kent if Thameslink didn't stop there. There's lots of ghost trains like this in the country. This is just one of them, in Kent.